is high quality um, cutlery and the presentation is just first rate. It and is. this we can't just get more of. So you know what, for that gourmet cook on your holiday gift list, you might want to think about this. Or if you're like me, you just need some better knives. This is a great set to pick up at $11 and change. Yeah, I'll tell you, this, this uh, brings me back to my days in culinary school, like mm -hmm. the first day knife class, because you had a chef knife, you had a cutting board and just a little side towel and you had to get through, you know, all of the cuts. But With what's great about this is we're giving you all of the great knives. Okay. You have the, the paring knife, which is a three and a half inch blade, a five and a half inch utility knife blade, and that's serrated as you see, the seven inch Santoku, which is a chef knife, and then that eight inch serrated, which we love. And this comes in this gorgeous kind of like That's faux right. wood case. So, yeah. and it has the Prepology name. And I'll tell you, uh, in my experience with Prepology, this is the same high quality cookware and, and uh, accessory pieces you find out at retail, but without the high markup. You're exactly right about that. And what I love about this is for someone who's serious about cooking and serious about prep work, but they need a starter set. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, the kid out of college in the first apartment. That's yep. really what we're thinking about here, you know, because they, they, they're serious about food. And I always start with the chef knife, but this time I'm going to start with the, the, the bread, bread knife, knife because I just want to show you with a two day old baguette with that firm crust on the outside, it's just slicing right through that. Mm -hmm. It's not ripping or tearing. You see um, very f few crumbs coming off of that. So it's just cutting through that very nicely and very cleanly. Right, so it's party time, it's ready for your bruschetta. <laughs> That's right? right. You're good to go. You're not tearing the bread apart, you're cutting through it, which That's is, right. there's a difference. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about some of the um, construction details in these knives, because uh, one of the things that David Venable ta taught me about, full tang. Yes. So what does that mean? What that well, means is that, you, well, number one, you have the Japanese stainless steel right there. Mm -hmm. And what it means is that it runs all the way through the handle. So that gives you great control. Mm -hmm. It doesn't rat tail off, which is like a little nub on the end there. You don't want that because that's So you want it to run all the way through the handle. All the way through because that gives you a good balanced knife. It feels good in the hand. Mm -hmm. It's a nice natural extension. And when it feels good, when the tool feels right in the hand, you're going to want to do this more. You're going to want to learn more about how to do knife work and you're going to want to cut things more like peppers and eggplant and all of those shiny skin vegetables that are so tough to get, get through, through. Yeah. but you see this just like a knife through hot butter is what that is mm -hmm. and I'm just going to show you right here cutting through the back side of the pepper that's always the difficult part because if you're not working with um, a sharp or decent knife, it can never get yeah. through you're that tough skin. You're sawing through it. You're, That's uh -huh. right. Or you're having to slam and chop through. That's right. By the way, these knives do come in colors. I know. So you have your choice of either the black, so all the handles will be black. There you go. We showed you the red, so here's your red option. And then we have the white. Yeah, which I'm oh, working with right now. And here. the white is the most limited, $11.16. You don't choose which knife you want. You're getting all four in the set in that great little case. All right, so um, what would be your recommendation when it comes to sharpening our knives? How often do we need to do so? Well, I like to sharpen knives uh, pretty much uh, every time I use them. But you okay. can also just use a honing tool, mm -hmm. and that's easy enough. There are plenty of sharpeners on QVC.com, yeah. and any of the ones that are there, either ceramic or metal sharpeners, they'll all work with that. What's great about this five and a half inch utility knife mm -hmm. is, not that I would recommend doing this, but you can actually attack an entire head of celery and break that down, dice it down for the stuffing mm -hmm. or the chicken salad or whatever it is. And the utility knives are something that we sort of overlook, but when you're already uh, working with a serrated knife or the chef knife and you have someone helping you in the kitchen, the utility just knife is that really, right over to just them. hand yep. it right over. And it exactly gets the job right. done. Look at that. That's great. I love that. Okay. Now, as far as care, yes. how do we maintain our knives? Okay. So we'll uh, sharpen them uh, using uh, any of the sharpeners that uh, you see on QVC.com. Mm -hmm. And then we just store them down in this wooden box in the drawer. We don't put them in the dishwasher. Okay. I never put knives in the Hand dishwasher. Hand wash. Exactly. Okay. So if you want to, actually, if you want to take that loaf of bread there, okay. and I can show you exactly what we're talking about in terms mm -hmm. of not... Uh, tearing. You want me to go right into yeah, it? Yeah, okay. just go right into it and you'll okay, see. Let me go on this side. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you'll see how easy it is mm -hmm. to yep. cut through that without tearing, without ripping, without mm -hmm. crushing. <laughs> and this is like a almost like a brioche style bread. Me. That's wonderful. No, you're doing a great job. That's fantastic. 
Good for you. And you see how easy it is, right? Look it's, at this pretty nice slice of bread. That's lovely. Ready for some butter and some jam. That's right. No All kidding. Right? And you know what? This is a, a bread knife, and it has the serrated edges, so it's going to be great when it does come to holiday season, if you're making those fresh rolls and you're making those big loaves of bread, um, right, for your guests. Yep. This is going to cut through it just nicely. But these are the tough jobs, that yeah. thick, hard skin of a pineapple. And what we want to do when we're approaching a pineapple is we want to flatten off the bottom so it, it'll sit straight on the table. And what you do is you just cut in real close on the skin like this. Mm -hmm. And then once that's done, you just come back with the paring knife and, and just dig out those parts. little divots right there. Yeah, it and doesn't take And let me tell you, at, at the store, you Look can purchase pineapple already cut up. You can. But I'll tell you, I think it's been there a little longer it's than it should there, be on this. And you're overpaying, like, yes. quite frankly. So yeah. when you make it look this easy, That's why right. not buy it whole, cut it myself, and save myself some dollars? You are cutting through that like it's nothing. It, like it's nothing. Now, of course, it's helpful it's a, that you know that we actually picked a ripe pineapple this time, so that's always a fun well, thing. What's the secret of knowing when the pineapple is ripe? The, it, you know, it's the smell and the texture. It's okay. really going to have that strong pineapple smell. You uh -huh. know, that wonderful fruit, uh, but also it's going to be slightly it has soft some and give pliable. To it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But you know, you'll have that pineapple. You can sear that. You can have that for the glazed ham, like we just did. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful. And thing. you just use the Santoku. Santoku knife for that. Absolutely. All right. Now this comes in your choice of colors. Red Red is very popular this morning, so if you like that red, remember, we can't get any more. That's why you see this reduced clearance price. Over $10 um, marked down. Uh, the white, also popular, and then the black is available at $11.16 for all four knives in their case. All right, I will tell you, tomatoes are my pet peeve because I always feel like I have to stab the skin yeah. before I can cut through it. It's because I have bad knives. Yeah, <laughs> and, and even with a paring knife, I didn't have to do that. It's a mm -hmm. three and a half inch blade. feels really nice in the hand. And you're slicing. Yeah, just slicing right through. Now, this is one of those hothouse tomatoes. This is not a local ripe tomato. Mm -hmm. It actually has a pretty tough skin. And I'll even take one that's just a little bit larger than that to show you that, yes, yeah. absolutely, you can get through that tough skin and that large tomato. And that makes it easy. Like I love to make uh, guac, guacamole yes. at home yes. and to like seed it out and to cut through it and to yep. chop it real fine. It makes the job just easier. So much easier when you have a sharp knife and a good quality Japanese steel. I like that. Well, this from Prepology, our four-piece <laughs> stainless cutlery 